Well, in the last months of Dark Shadows, the story took a new turn. I'd always played the witch, I'd always been the heavy, but this time I became the heroine. Dan Curtis gave me my wish, and I played Catherine, who was married to Morgan, but was in love with Bramwell, who, of course, was Jonathan Fred. And um, the costumes were marvelous. It was actually Wuthering Heights. Um, Jonathan was playing much more of a Heathcliff role rather than a vampire role. And he and I finally were deeply in love, and he loved me back, which was a thrill. However, I don't, I think that the original story of Angelique and Barnabas had a little bit more zing. Who knows? Kate Jackson and I became great friends. Um, we were, I guess you could say we were just a little unprofessional because there were scenes in which we found it very difficult not to break up and start laughing. There's something about some of the lines you have to say on Dark Shadows that are so ridiculous that if you really thought about it for a minute, you wouldn't be able to keep a straight face. But Kate and I, she came over to my house and we hung out a lot together and um, she was a wonderful girl, wonderful. And we had fun, fun times playing sisters. Most of the actors on Dark Shadows were actually stage actors. And I think that was responsible for the larger than life feeling that the show had. We had a little studio on 53rd Street and we would escape from the sidewalks and the buses and the subways into another world that was magical. It was like a dream. We had beautiful costumes, fabulous sets filled with antiques, wonderful lighting, strong characters that we played, uh, fabulous hairdos, and it was supernatural. So we, were, we had special effects. We were able to uh, cast spells, um, die and be born again, uh, hang, die, <laughs> as I said, <laughs> be stabbed, be hit over the head, be buried alive, um, appear and disappear, set rooms on fire, uh, play several characters. Sometimes some of us had four or five different characters we played. We were like a little repertory company, a uh, little horror repertory company. And uh, we really had a wonderful time. It was like doing a play all the time. It was very hard to see Dark Shadows come to an end after five years. Uh, it had become my life. And going to the studio, dressing up in the costumes and the hairstyles that Angelique wore, it, it was really a thrill. And it was sad. The last days were very, very sad. But um, we knew we were looking forward to making the second film. So it wasn't as though we were saying goodbye forever. And truth be told, I really believed that I would go on to become a major movie star, that Dark Shadows would be the stepping stone to great things as soon as I got to Hollywood. And little did I realize that it was the high point of my career, that it was probably one of the best breaks anyone could ever get. I played a wonderful character and I was so lucky to be able to be cast as Angelique. And 30 years later, I became a novelist and began to write stories about um, that mesmerizing TV show that, the, that so enthralled the fans with its mystery and its romance and its sense of adventure and suspense. Um, and it has stayed alive through the conventions We've had one every year, either in New York or Los Angeles, and we see thousands of fans who have never stopped loving Dark Shadows. And we've made lifetime friends with many, many of these people who come to the conventions. And um, so Dark, Shad and Dark Shadows still plays all over the world, so it's, it's really never died. It's never left my life. Hi, I'm Laura Parker, and I loved playing Angelique on Dark Shadows. I've written a new novel that tells a story you've never seen. It's called The Salem Branch. 
Barnabas is embarking on a new life with his fiancée, Julia Hoffman. When he travels back in time to Salem and the witch trials in 1692, there he encounters his old nemesis, Angelique, in her original incarnation as Miranda Duval, the witch girl. I'm thrilled about this book. I'm so excited, and I know you will enjoy it. It's now available, and here's how you can order it.